Hindu community has achieved a lot of economic success and that tends to overshadow some of the very deep forces that are now attacking us. When you see a statutory place like a consulate and a diplomat getting attacked, the Hindu American community really goes into sort of hibernation. We are very cautious when we organize public events, when we have temple gatherings, when we gather to worship. There's always a fear in our mind, what if somebody shows up? Because in the past, they have shown up. The relationship that we have between us and the Hindu community, in, in which is huge community. I think um, it's interesting. The Hindu community has achieved a lot of economic success, and that tends to overshadow some of the very deep forces that are now attacking us. So um, in California, we are actually now getting pretty close to passing a law that for the first time uh, will be profiling and singling out people and subjecting them to discrimination simply based on something we can't control, our birth. And by the way, this doesn't come just for folks like us who have migrated from India. It's something that's in perpetuity for our kids, you know. So second, third, tenth generation, there's really no end limit to um, being targeted for your background if you happen to be Hindu. So that's a big concern. Uh, the rising Hindu phobia and frankly the lack of safety. Uh, you know, we've seen consulates being attacked openly and when you see a statutory place like a consulate and a diplomat getting attacked the Hindu American community really goes into sort of hibernation because if if people like that can be so openly attacked what is it for us and all of us in our communities have self-censored we are very cautious when we organize public events when we have temple gatherings when we gather to worship there's always a fear in our mind what if somebody shows up because in the past they have shown up and when these when these events happen at places where we are gathering with our family, with our kids, it has a very chilling effect. And you know, the next time a lot of people don't come with their kids, a lot of people don't come with their families. So there is a lack of safety um, from, you know, rising and there's this mix. And this is all real life violence, right? Then you talk about our lives at work and our kids who face a lot of bullying simply for the faith that they come from. And then there's the online world, which is part of the data we are presenting here today, is how viciously Hindus get targeted simply when they choose to stand up. And that's really Kona's mission, is to make sure that Hindu Americans have a voice wherever we are, whether it's in our schools, whether it's our workplaces, whether it's in policy making, because unfortunately, despite um, our economic success, that has been missing uh, and missing quite badly. And we're seeing the results of it in a very bad way. Uh, so I think we all need to hear, come here and take action. The relationship that we have between us and the Hindu community, in, in which is huge community in my, in my district, about almost 100,000 uh, doctors, lawyers, businessmen, IT people, uh, they're, they're killing it in school, they're doing great with their families, uh, they're loving people. Uh, you know, we, ha we have dinner with them all the time, uh, uh, we, we, we do functions with them all the time, just really enjoying it. All right. Uh, there is this scare amongst the Hindu community when it comes to, you know, their safety, especially sure. uh, there is a discrimination when it comes to caste. Mm -hmm. your, your thoughts on that? Yeah, I've been very outspoken on this. I'm very against uh, uh, House Bill 403 in California. I think it's, it's racist. And, and, it, and it classifies people in a divisive way. Uh, I've also been very outspoken against any intimidation. Uh, we'll take them on publicly, privately, whatever we need to do, because it should never exist right here in America.